Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to today's video. My name's Cynthia and it has been a hot minute since I have actually sat down and recorded anything. The most recent video I posted was actually like months old. I've been going through a journey, but nonetheless, I'm here and I'm excited to get into this haul with you guys. We are going to be discussing whether or not Lululemon is actually worth it. I personally have never owned my own Lululemon, but I have purchased it for the different men in my life, my brothers and stuff like that. So I know that they like it, but now it's my turn to decide whether or not I like it and whether it's suitable for my body type and all of that good stuff. Now let's go ahead and dive into this super thorough review. So as you can see, I am recovering from an intense breakout and I have been keeping myself off the camera because I just been trying to work through it and I haven't gone to the dermatologist yet. I have a while back, but like not since. And I'm using some stuff that I really think is working, but I'm really trying not to jinx it. So I don't want to reveal them prematurely. But anyway, this is all just healing. So you probably can't tell just because it is a little bit red, but it's getting better. Anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the makeup. Um, I have everything splayed out right here. And first we're going to start with the brows. And I actually have a little hack that I concocted myself. Basically what I do is I use this great lash and this um, brow wax that I got off Amazon. This is clear mascara, by the way, if you can't tell. And I rub this in, pick up some of the wax. Typically you're supposed to just wet a spoolie and dunk it in here. But instead I'm using this gel. And then I just take it and I brush my brows in the opposite direction. Just trust the process. Wipe that away. Then I will take another spoolie, dissipate that built up wax. And since I recently trimmed my brows not too long ago, they are a little bit short. So there isn't that big of a difference when you look at them, like the before and after. But my goal is pretty much just to prevent my brows from like scooping downwards because the hairs will literally just go down and like I'll just have hairs poking downwards. So this kind of keeps them stiff in this direction and that's pretty much it. Next, I'm gonna go in with this hourglass stick and just for the sake of not having a super long video, I'm just gonna do a super quick transition. All right, so next we're gonna add some highlight and I am just going in with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. I accidentally got a little bit too much, but whatever. Now I'm just gonna set my under eyes with my Laura Mercier. Not a contour with a literal only contour I've ever used, which is the ABH Contour Palette. And now for mascara, I'll be using my Roller Lash by Benefit. After I get a nice thin layer of the Roller Lash, I then go in with the Thrive Cosmetics Mascara, since it is a little bit clumpier and thick, and just get the areas that I want that effect. And you can see the difference there. And now for the final step to line the lips and then add my gloss bomb. I was wondering what I was missing. Freaking my bottom lashes. Okay, so I think this is good enough. Now that we're all done, we can set it and go ahead and jump in to the try on haul. I will just be transparent and admit that all the tags are already off, but I do still have them to show you the pricing. And I did also try everything on prior to buying because I was not about to drop $350 or whatever I spent on all of these things and not know confidently that they would fit me. So that being said, oh, also, 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 
I have worn one of these outfits to the gym already, but I feel like that's a good thing because that means I can give you a more adequate review of whether or not I like them. So let's go ahead and stop talking and dive into the bag. First, we're gonna start off with the cap sleeve hiking tank. And this was $39. One thing I will know is that there were these stickers on them, but a lot of the racks had like different pricing on them that didn't match this, AKA they were either the same or lower. So for a few of these, I think most of these, these are correct, but a few of them are not gonna be correct. So here it is, and I am actually so obsessed with it. I love the brown tones. I was really skeptical about the purple, but ultimately I did end up getting it because I just couldn't pass up the browns. I got it in a size six, and I was so ecstatic to find out that it was the matching top to the other two bottoms that I have coming up next. This top is super soft. It is extremely lightweight. It has a little logo on the back right here. Pretty cute. And this is actually a pocket. So you would never guess that, like just putting it on because it is so lightweight and thin, but you zip it down and you have a pocket right here. Literally 10 out of 10 recommend if you can get your hands on one. Next, we've got the matching biker shorts. And as you can see, they're extremely like utility. It's got hooks everywhere for you to put stuff on. These are truly for hiking. I like that the pocket over here has like this like protection over it in case things start to slip out. And it's got of course a zip pocket here and another slide pocket there and a utility loop here and a utility loop back here. And since I don't hike, I can't actually tell you exactly what the purpose of those are, but I do like them. I think it's really stylish. And at the very least, if you have like your keys on a carabiner, you can loop that through there, whatever you gotta do. Um, these are adjustable. They're not just for style. And I don't necessarily think they're necessary since it is tight, but it is pretty cute and adds to the look. Super fucking soft. I feel like they were totally worth the price, which I haven't even shown yet. These are actually called the Multi Pocket Cargo HR Hiking Short 5 inch. And these were $49. Considering the original price, I say that is a freaking steal because these are awesome. Next is the other utility hiking short that matches the top. And again, with the accent purples, I have grown to really love them. I like the Lululemon on the bottom. And again, so much utility. Same thing with the drawstrings, purple strap instead. You got some loops here and some nice pockets and then another lift pocket, a little pouch there, literally the same on both sides. So tons and tons of pockets. This one was actually called the Cargo SHR Hiking Short, eight inches, $49. Again, a steal. These are all a size six, by the way. The shirt was a size six, the biker shorts a size six. And these are also a size six. And I think pretty much everything is a size six with maybe one exception. But, up freaking cessed. These are so complimentary to my body type. And if you have a butt, this does kind of hide it, but not too much, which I personally like. I don't necessarily always wanna be showing off my butt. So, definitely 10 out of 10 recommend this, for sure. Next, we've got the SenseKnit Running HR Short 10 inch seam. Um, these were not 79, these were actually 49, just like everything else. And these are gray and in a size eight. So this is the exception that was sized up. And I, they did have a size six, but I grabbed this at the last second just because I really wanted some gray biker shorts from Lulu. And I just got a size eight because they look like they might be a little tight. So I was kind of scared, but they do fit me and they, I feel like they could be tighter, like more fitted on me, but they're not loose by any means. They are obviously a little bit long, but I feel like they're perfect if you want to go biking or stationary biking, but anything that's gonna keep your thighs rubbing together, or maybe if you're even gonna run like a half marathon or something, these are the perfect shorts that will not ride up and will definitely keep you covered. I do like the detailing, and like I said, you really can't beat the price, especially since these were supposed to be discounted to 79, and I still only paid 49 for them. So I would say in terms of picking these over the other ones, I would pick the other ones, but still great quality nonetheless, and I'm so excited to use them. Next, we've got the Lululemon Align Bodysuit, eight inches. And these were crazy. These were such a crazy steal. I don't necessarily know off the top of my head how much these are originally, but they ripped off that sticker, don't know what it originally said. 
they were, I believe, on sale for $49. Or clearance, I guess is what you could say. $49. And this is a whole ass outfit. They came in pink, blue, orange, and I think some like burnt orange. But oh my God. Look at these. Look at this. That is so cute. And I was gonna get the blue, but I last second exchanged it for the pink because I just don't have enough pink. And I thought this was like a cute little Barbie outfit if I'm ever gonna be a Barbie for Halloween, but mostly just a great workout outfit. I will say it doesn't have any pockets. So if you are interested in pockets, there aren't any. I just noticed there's a little bit of thread coming undone there, but it looks fine. So definitely I would say nine out of 10 recommend. It is thick, it's super, super thick and it is soft, but it feels like the material that like your sweat would show through. So if you get what I'm saying, I have yet to sweat in it, so I can't actually say, but I'm gonna go ahead and guess your sweat will show through it. I would maybe nine out of 10 recommend this just for that reason, but it is so cute. So if you're looking for something just to be cute in, 10 out of 10. And last but not least, the Lululemon Align Bodysuit 25 inch. This shows that it was discounted to 109. And I got this also for 49. So here it is. Again, same as the pink one, same scoring, same material, thickness, no pockets, but once again, super freaking cute. Perfect color for fall. Definitely the pink is a little bit more spring and summer, but this right here is giving fall and I cannot wait to wear it. For that price point, yes, yes, yes. If you can afford it, if it's important to you, yes, a million times yes. One last thing before I go, I do just wanna go ahead and compare the pricing. Um, I don't personally actually know right in this moment of time how much everything is, but I'm gonna go ahead and put here how much money I spent, here how much it would have cost retail, and then here how much money I saved. So hopefully this number is a really cool number because I feel like I feel like I really saved a lot of money, but I don't actually know. So I hope that this is a really mind blowing number. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in, for watching. I'm so excited to finally be jumping back into things. I am trying to get back into that routine. So forgive me if I'm a little bit off my game, but I hope you guys enjoyed my reviews. And if they weren't thorough enough, again, ask me questions down below. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, a wonderful week. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.